In God of War, you play as an estranged Spartan pacifist that seeks to spread the good word of peace throughout all the Norse realms. The only problem is, nobody wants to be peaceful, and that makes Boy. very sad. And when Boy. gets very sad, he tends to... It seems the only way our hero can bring peace to the Norse world is through the brutal massacre of all opposition, and only then will he be able to ascend the mountain and answer the question, what is God of War worth? Brutal. Adrenaline-fueled. And alive. These three words describe every moment of God of War. Santa Monica Studios built their experience on a foundation of fulfilling combat. And I know I always talk about how lazy gameplay mechanics can ruin the atmosphere of a game. Well, this is doubly true for God of War. With the source material hearkening back to a golden age of character action games where we, the players, relentlessly mashed our way through legions of enemies without once tiring of the repetition of combat. If they fucked up combat, it's like slapping gaming grandpa in the face. God of War implements a traditional light and heavy attack combat system and then adds depth to the system by integrating weapon swapping, weakness exploitation, ranged combat, active defense management, and unique weapon abilities and combos. Each of these combat elements means that any given enemy could be dealt with one of several hundred different ways. It wasn't mindless smashing anymore. And that makes sense. Kratos is an old man now. He's a wise tactician looking to end conflict as quickly as possible. But once you activate your Spartan Rage, you see the 12-year-old Mongoloid unleashed as Kratos transforms back into the enemy weed whacker of yore. Sitting atop this gameplay foundation are RPG elements that elevate and do not bloat the game. Each weapon has its own talent tree, and yes, that includes the 12-year-old Tantrum Mode, where eventually you learn the ancient ability of the... Incel Scream! Which will instantly destroy any opposition in your wake. Each talent tree grants a new unique interaction with their respective weapon. There are no boring bonuses. Everything is purposeful and gives you a new option to use when interacting with enemies. On top of that, the armor and rune system gives you a litany of passive bonuses and secondary skills so that you can tailor the way you want to play. You can go full strength and decapitate an anti-peacer whilst chewing upon your favorite color of crayon. Or you could go full rune and immolate the opposition until the only thing left is the smoldering remains of your peace negotiations. Or you can go defense and die very, very slowly. The player has full control over the way they want to play the game. And despite that flexibility, Santa Monica never loses the identity of Kratos, which is absolutely impressive. I rarely talk about side missions because usually they're pretty ignorable. If most side missions are like sticking your dick in a cigarette lighter, God of War side missions are like your dick turning into a lightning bolt and then striking the earth and then... All the side missions and zones in God of War build out on the world for you and add color to the events of Midgard. More importantly, every mission has a meaningful reward. You either unlock new armor or are gifted new armor or are given some cool new rune or rare upgrade material. The point being is that they aren't just tacked on experiences. They're thoughtfully placed throughout the world and incentivize exploration. I'm going to intentionally not include the details of the side missions because you all need to experience them in the most organic way possible to truly get the effect that they deliver. Then there's the narrative. The story is beautiful. It's a story about a dad and his son who barely know one another. The main story and the side missions often place the lens of battle-hardened Kratos against the lens of tender-hearted Atreus. There are moments where both characters are challenged by the other. Kratos is challenged to be emotionally available for his son, and Atreus is challenged to not live as a child ignorant to the evils of the world. There are some heart-wrenching moments where you can tell Kratos wants to comfort his son, but due to his own personal life and upbringing, he doesn't quite know how to be there for Atreus. Perhaps one of the best touches of world building is when you find the talking head and go on storytime adventure boat ride. The talking head, Mimir, will tell you tales of actual ancient Norse mythology to build out the world you're adventuring in. I actually had several moments where I would just do laps around the lake and listen to the stories that Mimir would tell. It was a brilliant place to take the mundane task of traveling and make it into something to look forward to. Hey Mimir, last we were in a boat, you had just started the story. 
What did you want to tell me about the long war? Each of these elements, storytelling, world building, combat, puzzle solving, exploration, it transforms the game from just being a compilation of decent components into being a singular cohesive experience. It's a world that you never want to leave. I really only had one problem. It takes Mimir a fucking century to get started on telling his goddamn story. I mean, come on, you no-neck, one-eyed literature goblin. Quit staring at Kratos' pecker and tell me more stories about big white men beating each other up. This was literally the only annoying thing I had. I fucking love this game, period. I think it's important to articulate that I did not play God of War in 2018. I also didn't believe the hype over the game because the games industry just kind of has a habit of letting me down with big releases. Now, in 2022, I'm piling my words onto a giant plate as I prepare myself to eat every ounce of bandwagon bashing I did in 2018. This game is what video games are all about. It's an intoxicating gameplay loop centered around a captivating world and narrative. Nothing in this game was done without careful thought. So, what is this game worth? Zero dollars! <laughs> That's right, Kratos! You thought a 2018 game could be worth actual money? Oh, oh so, so you think you can kick my ass? Oh, fuck! Shit! Yeah, okay, what, you, you, what are you gonna fight about? Oh, fuck! Damn it! Beat it! Oh, you gonna try and beat the $60 out of me? I'll show you! Can't just be $60! You can't! You, what? You gonna have your son shoot me again? Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, damn it! Oh god! Wait, what? You gonna, you gonna throw us both off the mountain? You think that's gonna get you $60? Wait, wait, did your son- Is he gonna shoot me in midair? That's so fucking sick! Holy shit! Oh fuck! Damn it! Not again! Oh god, so many arrows! Oh! No $60! It's worth every penny. I need to go to the hospital, so like and subscribe to the video so I can afford my medical bills. And I'll see you guys in the next one.